Hey there newcomers, I am Abhishek and I will be teaching every anatomy topic in detail. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So today we are going to learn about the anatomy of the medial side of the thigh. So actually this is known also known as the, the adductor compartment or the medial compartment. The adductor compartment or it is also known as the medial compartment of the thigh. And basically this is a well developed and also it contains well developed adductor muscles which are the adductor longus, adductor brevis and adductor magnus and uh, they are responsible for adduction which means they pull the thigh towards the median plane. So what are the contents of the medial side of the thigh? When it comes to the muscles, the adductor compartment of the thigh consists of the adductor longus adductor longus then we have the adductor brevis adductor brevis we also have the adductor magnus adductor magnus then we have the pectineus gracilis and also obturator externus we have the pectineus muscle the gracilis as well as the obturator externus we have two different muscles, right? Obturator internus and externus. Obturator externus will come in, in terms of medial side with the thigh. So these are the different muscles that we have. Then when it comes to the nerve, we have one nerve that is known as the obturator nerve. Obturator nerve. So the obturator nerve is a part of lumbar plexus, right? And uh, it is from the branches of L2, L3, and L4 uh, root value. So obturator nerve will supply the medial side of the thigh. And when it comes to the arteries, we have the profunda femoris artery profunda femoris artery which is the largest branch of the femoral artery then also we also have the obturator artery obturator artery these are the two arteries that supply the medial side of the thigh we have the obturator nerve supplying the medial side of the thigh profunda femoris artery and the obturator artery which supply the medial side of the thigh then when it comes to the muscles we have the adductor longus adductor brevis adductor magnus pectineus gracilis and obturator externus which are the chief muscles of the medial side of the thigh so this is just a basic introduction about the medial side of the thigh now we will continue with the muscles of the medial side of the thigh in terms of their origin insertion nerve supply and actions of all of these muscles so stick to the video till the end and if you are new here you can always subscribe so now let's learn about the muscles of the medial side of the thigh muscles of the medial side of the thigh so actually the muscles of the medial compartment of the thigh will comprise the adductor group of muscles and they are arranged into the anterior layer anterior layer then we have the middle layer and then we have the posterior layer of muscles three different group of muscles we have we have the anterior layer middle layer and the posterior layer so anterior first layer will consist of the pectineus muscle adductor longus and gracilis we have the pectineus then we have the adductor longus and then we have the gracilis which are the part of the anterior layer of the muscles of the medial side of the thigh compartment then when it comes to the middle layer it consists of adductor brevis only adductor brevis then when it comes to the posterior layer of muscles it consists of the adductor magnus adductor magnus so the muscles of the medial side compartment of the thigh are divided into the anterior compartment middle compartment and the posterior compartment anterior compartment we have the pectineus adductor longus and gracilis middle compartment we have adductor brevis and posterior compartment we have adductor magnus so all the muscles of the adductor compartment of the thigh they are all supplied by the single nerve that is the obturator nerve and also the all the muscles of the adductor compartment except the hamstring part of the adductor magnus so adductor magnus has hamstring part as well as the adductor part except the hamstring part of the adductor magnus and a part of pectineus they are all supplied by the obturator nerve so actually the two of the muscles of the adductor compartment of the thigh which are the pectineus and the adductor nimbus they are called as the composite muscles why are they called as the composite muscles because they have dual innervations the pectineus is supplied by the femoral as well as the obturator nerve and also while the adductor magnus is supplied by the obturator nerve in the posterior division and also it is supplied by the tibial part of the sciatic nerve so both the pectineus and the adductor magnus they are called as the composite muscles because of their dual innervations now we look at the individual origin insertion nerve supply and actions of all these muscles individually so stick to the video till the end so beginning with the muscle that is the pectineus so actually pectineus is a flat or quadrilateral composite muscle it's a flat it is also quadrilateral in nature and it's a 
composite muscle because of its dual innervations. So what about the origin of the pectineus muscle? It arises from the pecten pubis. Pecten pubis as well as the upper half of the ramus of the pubis as well. Ramus of pubis. So before this you have to know that uh, you have to know the anatomy of the hip bone right to know what is the part of the pubis ramus of the pubis ischium as well as the ilium of the hip bone so make sure to study the osteology properly only then will you understand the origin and insertion of all the muscles in the human body so origin of the pectineus arises from the pectin pubis as well as the ramus of pubis and where is it inserted it is inserted in the line extending from the lesser trochanter to the linea aspera so what you need to remember is the insertion is on the lesser trochanter until to the linea aspera on the femur bone linea aspera on the femur bone the line extending from the lesser trochanter to the linea aspera of the femur bone that's where the insertion of the pectineus muscle is located so what about the nerve supply of the pectineus it is supplied by the femoral nerve and also anterior division of the obturator nerve I told you it's a composite muscle right because of its dual innervations it is supplied by the femoral nerve and then we have the anterior division of the obturator nerve as well anterior division of the obturator nerve will also supply the pectineus and finally what about the action of the pectineus it is nothing but the adduction of thigh adduction of thigh that's about the action so o means origin i means insertion n means nerve supply and a means action so this is about the muscle that is the pectineus so now we'll look at the gracilis muscle so actually the gracilis origin comes from the body of the pubis as well as ramus of the pubis origin comes from the body and ramus of the pubis pubis bone which is part of the hip bone right and uh, where is it inserted it is inserted into the upper part of the tibia upper part of tibia actually if you want to know more in detail it is the upper part of the medial upper surface of the tibia between the insertions of the sartorius and also the semi tendinosus so i actually don't want you to think that much just remember it is inserted into the upper part of the tibia and what about the nerve supply it is also supplied by the anterior division of the obturator nerve obturator nerve we have separate anatomy video make sure to watch that anterior and posterior division of the obturator nerve in, in terms of that it is supplied by the anterior division of the obturator nerve only and finally what's about the function of the gracilis it is same as the adduction of the thigh and also it helps in the flexion and medial rotation of the leg adduction of thigh that is also included and then it helps in the flexion as well as medial rotation of the leg medial rotation of the leg so that's what it is helping in so this is about the muscles pectineus and gracilis in terms of origin insertion nerve supply and action now we'll look at the individual muscles of the adductor compartment that with the adductor longus adductor brevis and adductor magnus so finally discussing about the origin insertion action and nerve supply of the remaining three muscles of the medial side of the compartment of the thigh that is the adductor longus adductor brevis and adductor magnus discussing in terms of origin insertion action and nerve supply so let us begin with the adductor longus adductor longus is a triangular muscle which is forming the medial part of the floor of the femoral triangle so actually it is a triangular muscle which forms the floor of the femoral triangle it forms the floor of the femoral triangle so what about the origin of the adductor longus it arises from the body of the pubis body of the pubis in the angle between the pubic crest and the pubic symphysis it arises from the body of the pubis and where is it inserted it is inserted on the medial one third of the linea aspera middle one third of linea aspera that is where it is inserted and what about the action of the adductor longus it helps in the adduction and medial rotation of the thigh adduction and the medial rotation of the thigh medial rotation of the thigh and what about its nerve supply it is again supplied by the anterior division of the obturator nerve anterior division of the obturator nerve that is about the nerve supply of the adductor longus in terms of its origin insertion action and nerve supply and finally let's move on to the adductor brevis what about adductor brevis adductor brevis is also triangular muscle which is lying behind the pectineus and the adductor longus it is also a triangular muscle and it lies behind the pectineus as well as the adductor longus and what about the origin of the adductor adductor brevis it is originated from the anterior surface of the body of the pubis 
same as like the adductor longus it arises from the body of the pubis if you want much more detail it also arises from the outer surface of the inferior ramus of the pubis between the gracilis and the obturator externus you can also include ramus of the pubis as well ramus of the pubis as well and what about its insertion it is inserted into the line extending from the lesser trochanter to the linea aspera it is inserted into the line extending from the lesser trochanter of the femur up to the linea aspera of the femur that is where it is inserted and what about the actions of the uh, adductor brevis it helps in the adduction of the thigh adduction of the thigh and what about finally the nerve supply it is supplied by the both anterior and the posterior division of the obturator nerve anterior as well as posterior division of the obturator nerve supplied by both of them so finally moving into the last muscle of the medial compartment of the thigh that is the adductor magnus which is the large composite muscle because it has dual innervations one by the tibial part of the sciatic nerve and then one by the obturator nerve so actually adductor magnus has two part one we have the hamstring part hamstring part then we have the adductor part because it helps as well as in the hamstring part of the muscle and also the adductor part of the muscle so it has two individual origins what about the hamstring part it arises from the inferior lateral part of the ischial tuberosity origin is from the ischial tuberosity that is of the hamstring part and what about the adductor part it arises from the ischio pubic ramus ischio pubic ramus that is the adductor part origin so what about the insertion of the adductor magnus it is inserted into the linea aspera i'm talking about this is about the origin and this is about the insertion insertion is into the linea aspera linea aspera also it inserts into the adductor tubercle adductor tubercle of the femur bone it also inserts into the medial supracondylar supracondylar line and also medial margin of the gluteal tuberosity that is where the insertion of the adductor magnus it's very large muscle right so it has four different insertions remember it medial margin of the gluteal tuberosity linea aspera of the femur medial supracondylar line of the femur and also adductor tubercle of the femur that's about the insertion finally what's about the action of the adductor magnus it helps in the adduction and medial rotation of the thigh and also weak extension of the hip adduction adduction as well as medial rotation of the thigh medial rotation of the thigh as well as it helps in the weak extension of the hip joint weak extension of the hip joint so that's about the actions of the adductor magnus finally what about the nerve supply the adductor part of the adductor magnus is supplied by the posterior division of the obturator nerve and also the hamstring part is supplied by the tibial part of the sciatic nerve i am repeating the nerve supply of the adductor magnus we have adductor part is supplied by the obturator nerve posterior division and hamstring part is supplied by the tibial part of the sciatic nerve so this is about the origin insertion action and nerve supply of the adductor longus adductor brevis and adductor magnus individually so thank you guys thank you for watching video till the end if you like the video make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and also share it to your other friends and people thank you so much